Okay, so our make is nice and dry here now. Uh, you know, it's got a papery, dry kind of sound to it. Not, there's no moisture on it. Uh, you know, the little bit of fat or any, or any bit of meat that was on there sweated out real nice. So now it's time to take it off the board and we want to get uh, just store it properly so that when it's, uh, it stays in good shape until it's time to sell. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, the armholes that we the, tucked in, they look real nice. It all looks real nice and clean and presentable, and uh, which is gonna be real nice. Now, if there's a little bit of uh, fat sweating out or moisture, just take a paper towel and, and wipe it down. If you remember, this one wasn't real fatty at all, so we don't have that problem. But if it is a little bit, uh, you know, oily, just wipe it down with a towel. So we're just gonna start pulling our pins out. Uh, and when you're doing this, the last place to dry is either probably going to be around the tail up in here, if it, uh, depending on how it's drying, or or by the arms. So those are the places to check. I've had it drying for four days now in the fur shed, but uh, that's plenty long. It's these dry in about two or three days, depending on the temperature of your fur shed. So um, that's uh, something to watch. You just, you just want to make sure it's dry. It's better to leave it on for too long than take it off too early. So if you're wondering, questioning yourself if it's dry or not, uh, just leave it on there. So I just pull the belly board out. Now I just slide it right off. So set the board out of the way. Now you can see, nice, nice mink. Looks good. Uh, now here we probably could cut a little bit of a ins bigger inspection window. when. The buyer is looking at your fur, they're gonna, they kinda wanna look in here and actually see the fur a little bit. Uh, just kinda check the density and stuff. So on a male, on a male when you're boring it, the penis hole is up here, so you'll cut a little higher anyways. You don't want a huge circle, you wanna cut out all its belly fur, but just, just a little bit is a, is good enough. But this uh, looks real nice, so I just hit it with the comb real quick. You know, just get those hairs and everything lying straight, nice and clean blow on it, it uh, looks real good. So now, until until it's time to uh, sell it, I'm just gonna hang it up by the nose, let it hang there, and uh, make sure no mice or anything can get to it, because they'll chew on this. But otherwise, other than that, uh, we have a completely dry, perfectly stretched uh, mink here, and it looks nice. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you, if you need us, if you got like more of these, if you got a whole pile, you can, once they're nice and dry, you can stack them in a cardboard box laying right next to each other. Don't pack them in there too tight, but you know, they can be touching if you need to or whatever. So, uh, that's another way. Same with the muskrats. I store my muskrats like that. When you get too many, just stack them in a cardboard box side by side. But anyway, uh, it's nice and dry. Looks nice. Prime. So I'm going to hang it up. That's a. Complete mink process. So, thanks for watching.